welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about how to create any type of form on your wordpress website any type at all Welcome back. Now, what kind of form do you intend to create? You want to create a pool, you want to create a contact us, a form, you want to create anything you want to create, you can actually do all that. All you need to do is to go back to your WordPress uh, dashboard and then go about to your plugin, then click add new plugin. Now, there's a lot of forms there. You can actually type on your search bar, you can type form. You see a lot of plugin that will you know give you access we just use this on our previous video now contact form i want to use this one there's a lot of them out here you can actually see a lot of them but i'm going to be focusing on using this very particular form called wp forms so i click install then i'll click what activate okay so the moment you uh install and activate you will see this particular page welcome to WP form. Thank you for choosing WP, the most powerful drag and drop WordPress form builder in the market. How to create your first form with WordPress. Now, if you feel you don't want to actually watch my video, you can skip by actually doing what? Going to watch this if you want to. But if you want to actually create your first form, you can actually go down here or you can actually read their full guide. So it depends on what you want to do. Now, I am actually going to be giving you a tutorial so do what click on the first one so you can actually see how you can create your first form it will bring you to this dashboard where it will show you four different particular sections. the first one is the blank which means you need to create everything from scratch yourself the next one is a simple create contact form that you want to create then you, you want to create a newsletter uh, 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 sign up form also you can also do that I just did that on also one of my video on how to create a newsletter sign up form if you also want to use this you can also use this now this also allows you to create a suggestion form so if I were you I can decide to say okay you know what is it for me to actually have two plugins doing almost the same thing I can decide to go uh, install WP form and if I want to create a contact form, I can create a contact form. If I want to create a what sign up form for a newsletter, I can do that. Then, if I also want to have a suggestion form, I can also do that. Now, what I'll do is I will walk you through how you can actually create the blank one, how you can actually do what create this one, and how you can create this guy, and how you can create this guy. So, let's start with the first one create a blank form. So, it will bring you here, the blank, nothing is here, it's not pointing you to an arrow to this whole section where you can actually drag anything that you want. So, depending on what you want to build, you can actually drag anything from here that you want to drag. But if you scroll down, you see that these guys are faint, there's, when I mean faint, this guy looking this way, you need to actually have a license with this company for you to be able to assess this section that have phone number address website every other thing here it will not actually work so if you see it will tell you to do an upgrade to pro and they're saying they're even giving 50 percent uh discount that you, in case maybe you want to uh use so it depends on you you can actually do what get a pro version okay but if I were you, I can start using this one first and see how it works. Then if you know how to use it very, very well, then you can do what now upgrade your account to actually have all the, you know, ones to, you know, get it. Because one, as long as you're going to be working for clients, there's a lot of needs that they will need that you can start telling them, ah, I can't create it. No. So you must actually have a license so you can able to create anything you want to create. Now all I need to do is this single line send i can drag it and drop it here 
single line then if i click on it i can do what i can edit it to whatever thing i can just say write your first name i can give it the name sorry name uh so that's what you see so the person have to you know type in this so once you do that the person now can do what can actually add his or her name then click submit but that's not only what we want to add so we can decide to again add another thing again so we've add this line paragraph you can decide to bring this down here again where the person can also you know whatever thing you want the person to write you can just click on this same part there to edit it you can say short bio that is short biography so the person have section to actually add that here you can actually put whatever thing you want to put there as you want to put but it's a short one not long one then move to the next one again the drop down drop down allow you to you know choose from multiple you know uh, options so you click on uh, let's say drop down so you can actually give it a name here you can decide to give it a name like uh, you say gender all right then uh, let me we need the first choice say female second choice you can say male and i take this off then i already have that here okay so this is it so now once you click on this gender it will give you access to male or female anyone you want to select then multiple choice you can drag multiple choice also and put also multiple choice also work uh like same thing with the drop down the only thing different between the multiple choice and the drop down is the multiple choice you see all of the choices where you can you know select any of them you can click any of the one you want to click but the drop down is you need to actually click a drop down button section that to open that's also the same thing all you need to do is do what still click the same thing for example i can still say gender then you still have you know two choices this time around i'll put male and this time around i'll put well, female all right so this is uh, that so male or female but this time you're doing what just select but this one you drop this guy down so these are actually that so you can actually go to the next one check box you know put it there also you can see so all you need to do is to check boss so this time around is to click check you know you're checking you're you know checking check so that's what you're doing so all that anyone you've put you have to click on it so you can you know edit it and all that same thing with uh, the numbers phone numbers too you do what also click on it once you open edit and put all that so that's all you need to be doing dragging putting dragging putting till you get all you want to get now once you're done with anyone you are doing all you need to do is to actually before you move before you go and actually click save you need to come back also to each and every one of them uh, the part here first of all the blank form you need to do what edit it first of so this is uh, write your first name this is the first thing you have but I actually want to click the setup section so the blank I will now change it to just testing because we're just testing how that works so now i am done with that secondly go back to the box so now it has changed uh to just testing so i can put anything i want to put there now the next thing here is when you click on any of the first one this one why i'm showing this now we'll do check all of them let me show you now you need to give every single person the option to want to either it's a must that the person must put that detail or it's optional now if you want the person first name to be uh you want it to make sure you put that first name which means if the person mistakenly not to put his first name then the uh you click submit it will not work to be showing error so you need to click what require so when you put require now you see this uh red star is now on this very particular one because You've put it require which means it require that the person must put his or her name then biography if you think you also want the person to do that also as well you click what require so it will also have that the gender aspect of it since i have multiple i also say this very first one i'll leave it as 
required but this one i'll leave it optional this guy too i'll leave it optional then the number i'll make sure also i put what required then once that is done i can go back and click save then it will now be available for me to use so all i need to do right now since i've gotten this i'll cancel then it will now see that i already have one just testing now when you click preview so you see how it looks you click preview scroll down you see how the form is this is a preview of your form of course because we are not publishing it yet so this is the first thing write your first name so you put your first name add us uh, then the short bio i just want to test this form then we have gender remember so you have to click what a drop down you can say i'm a male okay now this is optional so even if i don't click any i can choose anyone if i want to but i am um, also you know it's not optional so if i like i choose if i like i don't choose but once you click on it it will definitely and there's no way you can take any of them off so this one also optional if i like i don't do you know choose anything because of course if i click or check box now it will still click but i don't want to okay so but just for you to be sure so that that is working so i can just click second choice okay i can say first choice i can see so this one now i'm choosing all if i don't want i can do what take them off okay so it depends on what you want then phone number i say yes zero nine zero five zero three eight three nine one one okay that's what my number is uh sorry five zero three eight three nine one one all right so that's actually that okay why that mistake happened is you know you can actually you know you know change or plus you know that's one reason so it's that so i can do what submit then i have done that so thank you for contacting us we will get in touch shortly all that so that's as easy as abcd now let's go to the other option we've done for blank so let's go for simple contact form simple contact form will give you already made so it's not you know wanting you now to start creating it from scratch it's already there we already have our first name and our last name our email address then at least whatever comment or messages you want to send then submit it's as easy as ABCD then let's say you also feel you want to add a phone number you can do a drag and also drop that it will not be added there you remember what to do you can go back and do what change F put phone numbers uh, this time around is one so you can just put phone number then if you feel you can do what require remember so it will not show require now you do what save then you take it off then you find out that we already have our simple contact form sorry we did not even edit it so let's go and edit it so that we'll have the this editing so we're taking it is simple contact form so we can just say contacts to put something like uh, contact us uh, contact us then save all right if you feel like adding any description you can add but uh, it's not necessary you just go back there now we have contact us so now if you do what preview let's preview it now we'll go back you see very simple your first name your last name your email address contact address those very simple so you just put all that and click submit perfectly working all right so let's go again see the next one that we have there we have we've done for contact form blank one also we've done for the contact form then sign up form so let's click sign up form don't forget click the marketing tab to configure your newsletter service provider now why did it, this pop up in case maybe you already have maybe any of the email uh, marketing uh, platform from any of the popular platforms I think I have a video also that talked about few of the platforms that are available there uh, so you can check them out also so you you know get them it will be easier for you to connect them so that by the time somebody you know sign up it can also go directly into their platform you can do all that also as well so usually uh, 
me i don't feel there's a point somebody putting his first name or last name then his email address but doesn't mean you can't also do that if you think you just want to put only just a newsletter form you know sign up form usually it doesn't it's not necessary you put your full name your full name but in case you also want to put your full name and that you can also do that it's a very simple thing then you click save then you can actually do what cut it and actually go to it now this is it so let's preview it so it's as simple as ABCD this is it so you just you know get it up that usually why I like newsletters usually newsletter allows you to just have just your you know just the email yeah so just take this guy off yes there's just this guy that's for me just like it that way so now if I just go and refresh this guy right now it will also give me access to only that guy here so I only have this guy just put my email address and submit okay so that's actually for these three so let's go to the fourth one add then go to the fourth one so we have we've created the blank form contact form newsletter form now let's go for the last one which is the suggestion form now the suggestion form is very easy the first name last name email address then you can actually talk about maybe the department that you want the subject the email you can do all that you can also decide to drag phone number also the person put his phone number the phone number usually was supposed to be uh, up not down it's subject message so number wouldn't come on that subject it's always gonna be the moment you see subject the next thing you want to see is the message then the next thing you want to see is the summit so you can add anything up 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 you want to add so you can put phone number if you want to put uh, phone number two can also come up you know up the uh, from the first name your phone number then email address then choose the department that you want to use uh, you can do the subject then you can do all that it's very simple okay so everything you want to add you can add it yeah you can you know, choose this particular one when you click on it now you can which departments you want to you know suggest for whatever thing then you have option then if you also want to add image to be you know of this section you can do what click this part that allow you to you know select image but i don't think i like that i just leave it this way i like this so you can do all that in it's cool so suggestion form so this time around on the suggestion form section i'm going to be doing um i can say uh let me turn this suggestion form into questionnaire okay so let me say questionnaire all right so questionnaire that's feed let's go back to the feed so your first name last name i want you to actually you know i want to start something and i also want you to you know tell me what you think about it so i can just say okay the first name last name the phone number the email address now this part that said department i'm not talking about the department i'm going to be talking about tell me the business you will like I start so say online business say offline business say affiliates marketing say uh, should I say digital marketing then I can say I want to add one you can say I want to add um, web development can say let me see add another one and say um, social media 
influencing. So this is actually that I can also add a little description saying your advice is very much appreciated so that's you see it below so there then you can you know this time around tell me the business you will like I start online business affiliate marketing offline digital marketing web development social media influencing all that then this part of course subject uh, I'm looking at why will I want to put subject there's no need for subject yes uh, also if it's a questionnaire uh, I just need to leave this so this time around I'm gonna say uh, you can as well provide further advice below all right so it's here so the person can also do what you know puts another uh, maybe after anything here you can also advise okay yeah you can also do this do that do that then you can also do what submit okay so the person first name the person's phone number his email then he should choose any of the one he want me to choose then if I also want him to choose uh, multiple choices of course if it's multiple choices you know what to do multiple choices you can actually you know bring this guy down multiple choices of course you can actually select anyone you want to use then and then if you also want to add the bucket this one multiple choices will also uh, allow you to choose um, one in particular so this one will allow you to choose only one but this one checkbox will allow you to do what choose as many as you want to choose so if you decided to do that you can decide to say okay let me see you click this guy you say so I'll take this guy off uh, think this one will be best you say oh you can actually come down to this part that says here you so should I say a lot I can so say in case you feel I should go for more than one choice please click as many below Right, so the idea now is we have what first choice we have online business second choice we have offline business third choice we have affiliate marketing Then we also have plus sign so they can actually do digital marketing. Then we have web development. Then we also have a plus sign so for what? Uh, social media influencing. Now we've gotten uh, all our choices. Then you can actually do what? Then cut it off. Then let's go. Questionnaire. So let's preview. So first name, Ados Michael. 
phone number email address then so tell me the business you would like I start I can say uh, I wanted to start affiliate marketing now I can choose two each one I click it's the one that will go so I can say affiliate marketing now this part says your advert your advice it's very much appreciated that in case you feel I should go for more than one choice instead of just normal the affiliate marketing I can also choose online like I can say I wanted to just go for all okay so that's all the choices so this one will allow me to choose only one but this will allow me to stick as many that I want then you can do what as well provide further so I can say I feel since you are into tech you can handle all the lists above all right so submit so thank you for continuing us with shortly now that is there so you have all that so all you need to do and also in case you also want to you know these are the short codes maybe you want to put them in a particular section any place you want it to appear you can actually just copy any of the short code the way it is now questionnaire then you go to appearance uh, widget so this time around uh, this part we have this guy so I'm taking it off let me add this guy there I click save then we'll go to our posts uh, this time around let me click this guy go to our posts any of the posts then you see we have this guy here first name last name this then these are all the whole stuff you get exactly these are them okay then also with uh, we have uh, the same thing with any other one we have we've posted them they also show us just the way we have it it's simple as ABCD I can take I can take anyone I can take as many I want to take it's very simple to do that first name last name phone number email <laughs> get this order right so that's as simple as ABCD.